Spill the tea. Oh, oh, that's that's true. true. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a guest with me today, which is unheard of, honestly. I don't know why, but this is Meredith. Hi everyone, my name is Meredith Edwards and uh, I know Hannah from Belmont actually. Well, actually we knew each other before Belmont, but yes. um, I just graduated from Belmont and Hannah was a freshman there and we originally met through YouTube and then we got to be real life friends yeah. this past year. I know, it was crazy, because I actually was telling my mom driving here, I'm visiting her over the summer here in Nashville. Yeah, I remember texting her after I toured Belmont. I was like, I'm thinking of Belmont or Lipscomb. Yeah. And you said, come to Belmont. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here I am. Belmont. And she was a entrepreneurship marketing double major, mm -hmm. which I don't know, I still haven't added my double major. I'm are still, you gonna add one? I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hear what your answer okay. to these questions are, okay. and then I'll decide. Um, so yeah, we're kind of in both in the business world. We both mm -hmm. have been YouTube, run our own business, Businesses. So I'm excited for you guys to hear her take because she did just graduate and so these questions are gonna be just about college as a whole and maybe if you're thinking about going into college but don't know if it's the right choice for you or if you should go to a private school or study entrepreneurship mm -hmm. these questions are good for you or if you're Meredith's age and maybe transitioning into post-grad mm -hmm. we're also gonna talk about that and this is gonna be very podcast interview style and in case you guys don't know I do have a podcast I'll link it below so if you like this style on video, you can listen to it in audio. So we actually just filmed a freshman year advice video over on my channel, so you guys should oh, check yes. that out. I will have it linked below. Awesome. It's so fun doing real life, in life collabs. I like, know. This, I feel like these aren't really a thing anymore yeah. on YouTube. I know, but... I haven't done this in forever, so so excited. <laughs> Before you went into college, mm -hmm. four years ago, what was your dream job? My dream job four years ago, I don't think I necessarily knew, and that's what kind of scared mm -hmm. me, because I think a lot of people going into college are like, I want to be a doctor, or a nurse, or a graphic designer, or X, Y, Z. Yeah. And I didn't know exactly, but I did know that I wanted to start my own business, and that's why I decided to study entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get into what that is, because I know it's kind of a new major, mm -hmm. and you obviously know more about it than me, because I am still in my prereqs. But um, what is your dream job now? My dream job now is to still be an entrepreneur. Uh, I think going into college, I thought that one day I wanted to just start my own store and that was gonna be it for me. Like I thought that I had it all figured out. I was like, oh, it'll be easy. I'll just do this and then that'll be my job. And I did end up starting a store in school and just through a turn of events that didn't end up going long-term for me. But my dream job is definitely still to own and operate my own business and be like a full-time entrepreneur. And live here in Nashville, be a Nashville yes. entrepreneur? I mean, okay. I don't know if I'll be here forever, but right. I do love it here. And obviously I'm here for like another year because I signed a lease for a year, so. I'm yep. gonna come visit you. Oh, oh please my do, gosh. all the time. Her house is so cute and homey, I love oh. it. Why did you choose Belmont? I'm sure you know how to answer this because you've answered it for four years. Yes, <laughs> I've answered this question many times. I chose Belmont because when I toured the campus, it just felt like home. I mean, yeah. if you've never seen the campus in person, it's very beautiful, very aesthetically pleasing. There are a lot of flowers. Love the flowers. I love flowers. The tulips, I was so surprised. They are beautiful. Came back from like Easter or something mm -hmm. and tulips everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it's like magic overnight. It'll just pop up. It's like up. Disney. Yeah. But I definitely just felt a sense of community on the campus and with the people that I interacted with there and just knew that it kind of felt like home to me. That's so good. Are you happy with your college experience? Overall, I am uh, I, overall I'm pretty happy with my college experience. I would give it like a nine out of ten, just because Belmont does have like it's missing a few things that I wish mm -hmm. it had, like a football team and more sports and yeah, you know, more like typical college things like that. But with what Belmont had to offer me, I really loved it and met a lot of great people, learned a lot. Good. And I feel like you were a good student too. I definitely prioritized school, so I guess you could say that. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yes, no, I definitely saw it. Just, I mean, you, you were so busy because you do so much. You like focused on school, but you're also in DECA, right? Yes, I was in two different clubs like clubs, that. Clubs, and mm -hmm. I was in sorority. Yeah. I was like, look at that girl go. Were you happy you joined a sorority at Belmont, even though it's not like a SEC sorority? Yes, I was very happy I did that. It was one of the most transformative parts of my college experience and that definitely like 
made my experience. Okay. I get a lot of questions about like sororities at small mm -hmm. private schools, so if you guys wanna know about that, check out her channel, because she has a lot of videos on that. Yes. What's something college didn't teach you that you wish it did? Oh, there are a few things about the real world that I wish college had taught me. For example, how to pay my taxes. You don't learn that in entrepreneurship? No, you don't. I mean, you kind of <laughs> learn about like the requirements for paying yeah. business taxes, but I'm talking about like my own personal taxes. Mm. Uh, still need my dad's help with those. Yeah. Um, uh, paying bills, like uh, um, getting car insurance, all of these things that I've had to do within the past couple months. I'm like, oh, these are all new things. And you just kind of figure them out yeah. because college does teach you how to just wing things and yeah. go with the flow. But I feel like if a professor, literally any professor who's doing good in life and like living and has a family could teach this yes. and make an extra income from this class yep. and it would be full every yep. semester. Like, like an adulting 101 class. Exactly. Yep. Professors. Velma, <laughs> if you're watching this video, we expect a new class. Dr. Fisher, you can teach it yourself. Yes. Great. Thank you. So what was a big takeaway for you from college? That's another loaded question. Um, I know four years of your yeah, life. It's four years. The biggest on. thing that I learned. Um, I think the biggest thing I learned is that it is okay to be not necessarily selfish, but to be selective with your time mm -hmm. and uh, to do things that genuinely interest you because college, I mean, for most people, it's four years, um, could be more or less, but it's just this small period in your life where you can really like, discover who you are as a person and get involved in things that you're never going to have the chance to really be involved in again. And, um, just taking time for you, like taking classes you want to take, um, getting involved in clubs that you are interested in, discovering what kind of job you want to do because, you know, you go home for the summer and we were just talking about this, like you go home and you're with your family again or, um, you know, you graduate and maybe eventually you'll get married and have a family and then you have to, you know, all devote the obligations. All, right, all the obligations of life will catch up to you, but college is like this nice little bubble when you can just do things for you. Yeah. I agree. And yeah. if you want to go out, like go out. If you don't want to go out, don't feel like you have to have a college experience, how they yeah. portray it or have to, how they have it in movies. Mm -hmm. um, that was something I really struggled with this last year. And it's just like, I don't want to do that, but I feel yeah. like I need to and just do what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't, don't have to do that to have a good college experience. Now let's explain entrepreneurship major oh, yes. for anyone wondering. I know all the schools I looked at had it, but I don't know if it's a well-known major like across America. I'm not I sure. I feel like it's new. I think new like major. a lot of my um, family members who are older, like all of aunts and uncles mm -hmm. and grandparents are like, you can major in that nowadays? Yeah. I'm like, you can. Yeah. So what does it look like? So the entrepreneurship major at Belmont is really special. I feel like I'm an advocate for it. Like I'm constantly <laughs> telling people that they should major in entrepreneurship if they're interested in anything business related. Yeah. So obviously, you know, freshman or sophomore year, you'll take that, that first intro class, just, um, foundations of entrepreneurship. I don't know if you've taken that yet. No, I can, t I have to take it next semester. Okay. Okay, has well, to do with my credit hours. Yeah, but, but it'll be good. You'll love it. And uh, then after that class, which is with all of the business majors, mm -hmm. um, you'll move forward in more focused classes. And to begin with, some of the classes at Belmont are more focused on looking at other entrepreneurs and mm -hmm. looking at other businesses in Nashville, doing research on those. Um, and then eventually they'll ask you to kind of like find ones that you are most interested in. And then from there you take more classes to lay the groundwork for your own business. And um, there are fun electives you can take. Um, I took a, an entrepreneurship in prison class where we got to go Aww. to the local women's prison and help them with their businesses. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was one of my favorite classes I've taken for sure. So do did a lot of kids in the class come in with businesses? Not everyone does, but uh, a few people do. I would say there are like a select few that are already actively working on their business okay. and then most people are more so thinking this is something I want to start when I graduate. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. And you take all the different aspects of business. I know because mm -hmm. I'm like taking accounting next semester, mm -hmm. you take finance, marketing, all that. Were yeah. you happy to do the double major? Did you feel it was needed? I don't think it was necessarily needed, but I had enough credit hours to where I didn't want to graduate a semester early and mm -hmm. so I decided just to add marketing as a double major and because I also feel like 
you know, maybe if one day my own business doesn't work out, I can say that I do have this background and forth. And if people are trying to tell you maybe not to do an entrepreneurship major, like, oh, that won't be good for getting jobs. What I would say and how I have thought about it in my mind is because entrepreneurs wear all the hats, and when you start your own business, you do all the things. I think that's so skillful to companies because you can present your uh, diploma, your degree, and be like, hey, I, don't sh I know I'm not specialized in just marketing or just finance, but especially for startup companies, you can be like, put me anywhere. I'm a fast learner. I'll work hard. And I think, honestly, that's what co more companies are looking for, yes. just people who can learn anything um, instead of being super specialized. Yes. Totally agree with that. Adaptability, big skill to have. There we go. Mm -hmm. So did you study abroad at all? Yes, I did study abroad one summer. I went to London and it was awesome. Yay, mm -hmm. and did you do any internships? Yes, I did have a year-long internship turned job kind of for one company. I was just helping them with social media and a lot of like brand management things and that was really useful. That was my mm -hmm. junior year. So junior year was a crazy year. But yeah. How is the post-grad transition this summer? <sighs> yeah, we were just talking about that a little earlier. So going into post-grad is definitely different than what I expected. And also things look a little bit different for me because I don't have a full-time nine to five job. But my last semester of college, my last year really, senior year was just so crazy. Like go, go, go. I know, go I never got to see all you. The time. I know. We're you were busy and I was like, yes. she is about to graduate oh. and then I know when she graduates, she'll be like, yes. I have more time. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I know. It makes me so sad. Like, I feel like senior year, I hardly ever had time to just hang out with people, catch up, chill, eat, sleep, relax, <laughs> like live. I was just constantly going. And it was a, a weird transition at first, but it's been really nice. And I know that I definitely needed it for my own like mental health. Mm -hmm. So. It hasn't been too bad. I've enjoyed okay. it. Mm -hmm. Good. And you're planning to stay in Nashville, like you said, and work yeah. on your business coming up. So if you guys are interested in that at all, of course, go check out her channel. She has great Thank advice you. videos. If you are in college, looking to come to Belmont. I watched all her vlogs before I came. So yeah, thank you so much for having You're me welcome. or being on the channel. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for having me. It was so fun to be here. Okay guys, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Bye.